What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John from the Game Day here. Welcome back to another episode of Dang and Rafa 2. Goodbye, despair. Last episode, uh, we were worried about this party because we thought something bad was going to happen. What do you know? Um, I was right about what the bad was going to happen, but not not the who, what, when, where, why. Or I knew the, uh, the where, not the who, the what's, the why's. So that's what we get to figure out now. Oh, we gotta explain this. That's right. Just as I thought, you amateurs need this, right? What the hell? What is even in the Monokuma file? Jeez, explaining the rules all the time really breaks my bones. Well, it's not like I have bones in the first place. Like, I don't even make... They don't even make me say such a lame jokes. Let's see. The Monokuma file contains precise and detailed information. Uh, information regarding a dead body. What? I brought it to you so you guys can smoothly proceed with the investigation. I'm such a nice guy. I'm so nice, I want to be known as Mother Teresa of the mascot world. Okay. Nice, you say, you selfish meanie. What's this? My, 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 me In meaningless mascot. The, or monomy, the meaningless mascot. You're still here? You Don't push me. I am the meaningless mascot genre. Come on, let's go. You've already, your turn is already up. Hurry up, and get the hell out of here with me. Ouchie! Don't pull my ears. They're gonna come off. Uh, they're finally gone. The Monokuma file, huh? Anyway, I should look over, look it over just in case. Six foot, two hundred eighty-six pounds. Cause of death: the victim's body was. Oh, there it is. It's telling me. The victim's body was discovered in the dining hall of the old building near the Hotel Marier. The estimated time of death is around 11.30 p.m. The victim was repeated, repeatedly stabbed over 10 times between the throat and the abdominal region, resulting in death. 10 stabs. Holy crap. Aside from that, the body has no other external injuries, so no chemicals such as poison were detected. So Byakuya is really dead. Damn it. You promised that there wouldn't even be a victim, and why'd you end up going to be one? And now, I'll never know what you're going to say to me. I cannot tell the others about my past. I suspect that my skeptical nature is partly to blame. Distrusting others and being trusted in turn for a long time of my life has been a living hell. But was it was inevitable that I would end up this way. In the end, what did he mean? Could it be? Even so, if there really is a traitor, it's not gosh darn awful. Pretending to be an ally and tricking you guys, it can't be helped if someone like that gets killed, right? Oh, a traitor. No way. Just because he said a lot of serious things doesn't mean he was the traitor. What am I thinking? Obtain the truth bullet. Monokuma file number one has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Anyway, we need to carefully examine everything. That's right. I need to do it. If we're going to survive, we need to do this. I have to prepare myself for the worst. Ooh, we have entirely different music. For investigation. Why is there so much? <gasps> oh, his case is open. His Durland case is open. Ah, this is the metal case Biakia had with him. I believe he said it was made of Duralumin. The last time I saw it was closed, but there's a lot of odd things inside this case, like a nightstick and pepper spray. Hmm, what is this? A hard plastic case, but it's just the case. The inside is empty. I wonder what is inside. But the other thing that is really catches my attention is a small key. It must be the key to, to the other Duralumin case. The other case was in the office, and all that was collected, and all of the collected dangerous items were inside of it. If the key to the Duralumin Dur Dur case is right here, then it is unlikely that the murder weapon used to kill Byakuya was taken from that case. Which means the weapon inside that Duralumin case aren't related to Byakuya's murder. Even so, I still don't get it. Why did Byakuya have this Duralumin case in the first place? A case 
pack, packed with all this security equipment. Maybe it was he was being extra cautious in the case in this case, but no, that can't be right. That's way too overboard. Could he have known something that was going to happen beforehand? And because of that, he went to all this trouble to be extra careful. Maybe Gundam's account might help. Oh, a hellhound earring. Hellhound earring. There it is. Answer my call. This effort is futile as well. Hey, are you still looking for the earring you dropped? It's not a mere earring. It's the hellhound earring. Long ago, in a faraway land, a beast known as the hellhound was feared by all, and even by he who summoned it. Well, this is certainly random. The hellhound tore his way through the innumerable battlefields, but his fangs glistened with blood, and his drenched blood-red fur would dry in the howling winds of loneliness. When I finally tamed that diabolic beast, I received an earring to commemorate that event. The hellhound earring. So that I may never forget the night that I battled a fearsome poor minion. I wear that earring at all times. Was it really about a freaking Pomeranian? I understand the importance to you, but now we need to investigate. Where is it? Where did it disappear to? Maybe it's, it fell underneath the floor. If the carpet didn't cover the whole floor, it might have fallen through the gaps between the exposed floorboards. <laughs> well, um, so it that's what transpired. Such a clever little bo bobble. Gundam laughed un up warishly as he walked toward the wall and pressed his head against the gaps on the floor and peeped underneath the floorboards. Ah, there it is. I have found it. Truly, that is all the hellhound earring. It seems like God exists for my benefit. I see. Good for you. However, how do I recover it? I cannot fit my arm through this opening. Where I to you or where I to use a tool? It would be probably not reach either. Then maybe you should just give up. What? Give up what? The world? I mean I meant give up the earring. You. Fool, have you not realized? The world will come to an end if the human race were to ever lose that earring. Your humans are so satisfied with your clothing, yourselves in layers of false knowledge. But even with all of those layers, you will still not survive the winter. Why am I being scolded? It was foolish of me to rely on you fools. Fine, I shall do something on it, but about it on my own. Now, if you will excuse me, I'm going to go save the world. If he wants that earring back by any means necessary, his de determination is truly inspiring. But it would be nice if he actually helped me with the investigation. Gaps in the floorboard is added in the truth bullet section of your notebook. Okay, maybe I kind of forced to interact with peeps. Which would make sense, honestly, but... Me Mahiro, are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. What's going on? Is that what you expected of me to say? Because I feel terrible. One minute, Yaki is alive and well, and in the... In an instant, something awful suddenly happens. Of course not. Of course I'm not fine. And not only that, but whoever killed him was one of us, right? That hasn't been determined yet. It already has been determined. You already accepted it, haven't you? That we have to find out who the killer is? Find out who killed our friend? I don't like it either, but we won't survive if we don't go through with it. It's not just for yourself. We have to do it to protect all of us. If if I had only acted calmer during the blackout, Byakuya might still be alive. The whole thing would have never happened. Stop blaming yourself. Nothing good will ever come out of that. Getting cheered up by a boy isn't like me at all. Hey, Hajime, forget about what I just said. Got it? Yeah, fine. I got it. Anyway, I won't dwell on it for now. I cannot become a burden to everyone. Plus, there might be a clue only if I, I have access to a clue. Photos, the one thing I took before the blackout, remember? Hey, Biakia, come on. I'm going to take a picture. All right, say cheese. Snap. Oh, yeah, the pictures. Want to see them? I have a digital camera so I can show you them right now. Really? Please. Let's see. It's this photo. And 
this one. I took two photos right before the blackout. Huh? Is something wrong? I didn't realize it till now, but right before the blackout, Biakia was standing in a totally different place than where we found him. Wasn't his body under the table with the lamp on top of it? The one underneath the monitor? Prior to that, Biakia was standing along the wall farthest away from that table. You're right, that is pretty far. There's something... Everyone standing in... Everyone standing position before the blackout might have be a huge clue. But hey, can you approximate everybody's standing position to, from these photos? Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. It'd be hard to understand from the photos alone, so it might be better if we plot the, for me to plot this out. But will that actually provide a further clue? I don't know yet, but I feel like it could. Leave it to me. Got it. Then leave it to me. That's pretty much the only job I can do anyway. Thank you. All right, then now it's decided. Better you that. better work hard on the investigation, too. How much longer are you planning to stand around? Do you understand? Do you understand what's going on? you got to find out how Byakia died. Yeah, I, I know, but... It's good she was all fired up now, but she's totally a different person when she was feeling down. Me calling so I can talk to you. Uh, I must, I must investigate my classmate's body. Yes, I'm the one with this medical knowledge. That, that's why I need to do it, to, to, to do it somehow. Before you start, why don't you calm down a bit? You're right. I, I need to calm down first. I, I'm careless enough as it is. That's pretty obvious from how you fell earlier. I, I'm terribly sorry about that, for showing you this is something so unsightly. Yeah, you made me remember again. Oh my god. Ugh, I made such a fool of myself in front of everyone. Forget making a fool of yourself. How did in the world did you end up like that? Well, well, well I, I got startled by the blackout, slipped on the carpet, and wasn't I go struggling to get back up? Uh, it's so embarrassing. Papa, please erase it from your memory. E even if you ask me, I won't be able to forget it so easily. I'm sorry. Uh, I can't stand it. Uh... Obtained a truth bullet. Oh my god. Embarrassing pose has been added as a truth bullet. It's just because our character wants to think about that. There's a lot of tasty looking par party dishes. In the end, nobody really ate that much. I can't imagine these are related to the incident. Hey, Hayame. Or Hajime. There's something I want to run by you. Before the blackout occurred, Byakuya was in the dining hall with the rest of us, right? Yeah, that's that's right. And if Byakuya's dead body was discovered after the blackout, then don't you think he died during the blackout? Well, now that you mention it, but why was Byakuya's body under the table? Even if the killer tried to hide him, it's not like they would have stayed hidden forever. Isn't that so confusing? You're absolutely right. It seems... Finding out exactly what happened during the blackout is the key to solving the mystery. There's no way I would know. It was too dark during the blackout. I couldn't see a thing. Although, if seeing was impossible, then there's a possibility someone might have heard something. Heard something? Are you talking about her? Under the table, Byakuya was. First, I should investigate the top of the table. Though, the only thing on the top of the table that really catches my eye is this desk lamp. It looks like an antique, la antique lamp. It is rather heavy. The power cord is connected to the outlet, so it would have be useless during the blackout. Other than that, there's nothing else on the table that really stands out to me, so... Now it's time for it to... Now not, now not the time for me to flinch. I gotta do it. I gotta shout as if to encourage myself... And quickly look beneath the table. Immediately I notice an unexplainable smell like a rusted iron hanging in the air. Enduring a stinging pain in the back of my eyes, I slowly shift my gaze towards Byakuya's body. Byakuya, Toga Byakuya Togami, the ultimate affluent progeny. He is the kind of guy who said a lot of hurtful things. But he tried his best to lead everyone. Why? 
Why did he have to end up like this? The only thing I can do right now, for Byakia's sake, is uncover the truth beneath this death. A bloody knife. Is this the weapon that was used to kill Byakia? Hold on. How did the killer bring a knife into the dining hall in the first place? Byakia thoroughly patted everyone down and thoroughly inspected every corner of this old building. And all the confiscated dangerous items are supposed to be placed in the Duralumen case. It's possible they stole this knife from the case. Or they hid it somewhere hard to find. Also, there's one more thing about the knife that's strange. There's some kind of paint that's been applied to the hilt. A dim light beneath the table. It's a glow dolly. Could this be glowing paint? A knife has been added to your truth bullet section of your handbook. Night vision goggles. Hmm, what is this? It looks like binoculars, but... Why is there a pair of binoculars under the table? Hayame? Or Hajime? Those aren't binoculars. Uh, then what are they? Those are probably night vision goggles. Night, night vision goggles? I've seen them at the supermarket on this island. They also stock self-defense kits, too. If that's the case, did the killer use the night vision goggles to kill Byakia during the blackout? Night vision goggles have been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Another how in the world would they let that in? Moment. Hmm. Something stuck to the back of the table. Is, is this duct tape? It seems to be paint, the paint, there seems to be paint applied to the non-sicky side of the duct tape. In the dim light beneath the table, it seems to glow dully. Could this be glowing paint? What, didn't we already figure that out with a knife? The body is collapsed, face down, under the table. If, as if he was in the middle of attempting something, it looks like he was... According to the Monokuma file, he was repeatedly stabbed between the throat and the abdominal region. Repeatedly stabbed. Would one of us really do something so horrible? Updated the truth bullet. Monokuma file has been updated in your handbook. Check the truth bullets to see or to see. The, okay. I can't say I've done enough investigating. Oh, crap! I'm missing something then. Oh, blood stain. The blood flowing from Byakia's body formed a huge pool under the table. That's a lot of blood. There's blood spattered everywhere. Even the inner side of the tablecloth is covered in blood. The blood must have splattered all over the place when he got stabbed. But there does not seem to be any drag marks leading to the blood pool. Or from the blood pool. Obtained a truth bullet. Blood stain under the table has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Um, I'm... Sure, I've pretty much investigated what's under the table. Despite the fact that it's just me, I think it's, I'm pretty working pretty hard. Even if it's just a little, I'm sure we're getting close to the truth behind Byakia's death. There's no denying Byakia died during the blackout. Wait. Oh, we already talked to him. Oh, wait. If it's impossible to see in the dark, there might be someone who heard what happened. Are you talking about her? Who's her? Somebody who heard what happened. The AC unit is just going to say it's the AC unit, right? I already know this. Hmm. An air conditioner. Could it be? Hey, all of you, why can't we look act a little bit more grown up? Beep beep. Hmm? What was that sound just now? A zap. This air conditioner is probably the only machine inside this room. And the air conditioner is a remote control. The timer is set to 11.30. I'm pretty sure Byakia's time of death was around the same time. So that means this machine's sound before the blackout was probably came from the air conditioner. 
My flashes of inspiration aren't as bad as I thought. AC timer's been added to the truth blood section. Hajime. Uh, Hajime, a moment. Hmm, what is it? When we're finished with the investigation here, would you like to hear what everyone has to say together? I found myself, if I go by myself, some people might not talk to me out of caution. Well, we've been told one of us is the killer. It can't be helped that everyone's on edge right now. But why me? Hmm, because you're easy to talk to. I feel like you have a sense similar to mine. We both harbor special feelings towards Hope Peaks Academy, isn't that right? Well, yeah, but... Fine, if we're going to go together, let's get on with it. There's no time for idle chit-chat. I'm glad. It'll be a great help. Special feelings, huh? Even so, what he said about this being similar, I don't think I agree. Now then. I guess for now, we should search inside this old building and listen to what others have to say. Not just the dining hall. I think we should consider this whole building at the crime scene. After all, the blackout took place at the time... What... The blackout that took place at the time would have happened throughout the this entire building. Um, um there's something I want to ask you. Hmm, what is that? Um, it is strange, no? It appears that only the wall is a different color and material. Why is that? Oh, it's probably a fire door. Fire door? Hmm, you've never seen one before? It's a door that shuts to keep the fire from spreading by the containing it. If it happens, you can run away, right? Yeah. I see. It's like a barrier. It's just like lining up plastic bottles around the house. That's only done to keep cats from getting in. You know about keeping cats from getting inside, but you don't know about fire doors? I am ashamed. Truly, I am culturally ignorant. I am ashamed of myself. Fire door has been out of the truth blood section. Why? Now is Nagito's over here. Like, check the storage closet. Let's try talking to everyone. It's definitely going to help us out. Wow. My hands were full cleaning the dining hall, so I couldn't even touch this room. It has cobwebs, and there's no way I could stay here for a long time. There's an awful lot of boxes. We don't have time to go through each and every one of them. But I guess we should leave them alone. A wise decision. Stacks of clean tablecloths. It looks like they haven't been used yet. I guess there's something strange there. A huge piece of cloth randomly shoved it here. This is a tablecloth. Oh, a tablecloth. Wait, huh? Hold on. There's something on it. This is a blood stain. Uh, a, a blood stain. Come here, take a closer look. Uh, it's too dark. I, I can't see that clearly. There's no mistaking it. This is tr clearly a blood stain, which means the tablecloth from the next day to Biakia's murder, right? If that tablecloth has a blood stain on it, then it's a possibility. Seriously, it's a blood stain. Storage room tablecloth has been added to the truth bullet handbook section. Or truth bullets section. I wouldn't see this as like anything, so I'm, I'm gonna click on it just to make sure, but just as I thought, your eyes don't miss a thing. When I was looking for Byakuya after the blackout, I also found these irons, but when I found them, all three of them were turned on. Turned on? Yep. It'd be bad if another blackout happened, so I turned them off. Um, but it doesn't feel... Doesn't it feel kind of sinister? Sinister. Irons in the storage room has been added to the Truth Bullets Handbook. I'm so glad I didn't miss it. Hey, Hajime, how much longer are we going to stay in this dark place? We're just wasting your time. You're just wasting your time. Let's move and investigate other places already. Hmm. Ah, I get it. You're right. The game's just like, okay, hurry up. <laughs> no, I actually think we're going to get all our, hopefully get all our truth bullets. Those are the fire doors. 
Apparently, a great man once said, investigation should be done on foot. So that's why I'm using my feet. Je I'm just walking around for no particular reason. Well, if there's no reason, then there's no meaning. Hey, Hajime. I just realized something. Could she, by chance, know what happened during the blackout? Yeah, I was just thinking of the same thing. Uh, how'd you know? Um, so you did hear us, even though Hajime and I were talking pretty softly just now. Tee <laughs> Not the only one. Not only do I have a perfect face, style, and personality, I also have perfect ears. I see. If your hearing is so good, maybe you heard what actually happened during the blackout. When the blackout happened, you could hear everybody's voice throughout the dining hall, right? We couldn't tell, but you would have been able to make out who's who, right? Just leave it to Ibuki. Uh, Ibuki. It'll be easy as fried rice with gravy. Huh? La 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 ya, la 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 I'll heavily eat you for breakfast. Oh, man. You, oh, you mean like it'll be easy as pie. Except eating fried rice with gravy for breakfast is kind of heavy. <laughs> Any fried rice that isn't fried with rice, isn't fried rice with gravy is so wrong. She should make a metaphor with more common type of fried rice, like egg fried rice or lettuce fried rice. Anyways, you can you tell us what you heard? I got it. Leave it to me. I'm gonna take a bite out of ya. Yep. If you tell us, I'll take a, I'll let you take a bite out of Hayame later. Stop it! What if she takes you seriously? Aww. Let's see. The first person who raised their voice during the blackout was. That's right. It was Mahiru. Next was Kazuichi's voice, and the next was mine. I can't see anything. <laughs> My is pitch black. Was the nice remark I made. It's to the point. What a nice remark I made. It's to the point that it has its own unique charm. Just continue. Then there were more voices, one after another. But Biakia was standing next to the wall. Like, Biakia was literally standing next to the wall. The whole reason you'd want to do that is so you can drag the body. Oh, righties. Pretty much that's pretty much it. Well, there was no blood there was no body blood stains though. Like there was no dragging from the body's blood. Interesting. Anyways. He <laughs> aren't I awesome? Praise me, praise me, give me lots of praise. I heard you the first time. Seriously, don't get any closer. Hey Nagito, say something to her. Hey, did something happen? No, I was just thinking about what Biakia said during the blackout. What Biakia said? Why did he say something like that? Rather, why was he able to say something like that? What the hell? What is going on here? And th this is... What do you mean? About that. Why don't we discuss after we've investigated a little bit more? For now, I can't really say anything for certain. Well, it's not like I really care, but... Anyways, don't you think... Don't you think Ibaki's account just now is an important clue that'll lead us to the truth... Or Ibuki's account, not Ibaki's. Ibuki's. Then praise me. Let me bite ya. Ouch, you're really biting me. Ibuki's account has been added to the Truth Bullet section of your handbook. Okay, going to the bathroom, even though it's probably occupied, but clatter, clatter. Huh? It's locked. Someone appears to be inside. Since it's a unisex bathroom, I don't know who's actually in there. Hey, someone come in there, or someone, 
We knocked on the door and tried calling out whoever was on the other side, but there's no response. This is going nowhere. I guess we should just give up and check it later. Yeah, you're right. But I know who's in there. That's why I clicked on the button. Anyways, to the office. I'm a scoundrel, honestly. Okay, there's the other luminant case. The old building circuit breaker should be inside this office. The circuit breaker, huh? It might be related to the blackout. So it better it's better if we check it out the circuit breaker first. And why do you know where the circuit breaker is and how to turn it on and off? It's gotta be. I mean that's I feel like it's got Hey, isn't Pekka Dog, you're shift you're blame shifting gaslighting now. Oh my god. Why why do you think that? I mean Well, she wandered off somewhere, even though she was supposed to be in the office. When we lo were looking for Biaki after the blackout, I went to the office right away, but when I got here, she was gone. Well. I shouldn't say this too loudly or else Miss Sonia will yell at me. Hmm. Pekko's probably the one who tripped the circuit breaker and used the blackout to her advantage to kill Biakia. And don't you think she looks kind of ruthless too, like an assassin, right? Well, it's not like you look any better. Kazuichi's account has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. The remote control is, the, is for the office air conditioner. Huh? The timer here is set to 11.30. Wasn't the timer in the, for the air conditioner at the dining hall also set for 11.30? It can't be a coincidence, right? AC timer has been updated to the, it, in your handbook. Check the truth bullets in the menu to review it. Circuit breaker. That must be the old building's circuit breaker. The blackout was probably happened because of this. Hmm. It doesn't look like someone did anything to it. Nothing else looks suspicious either. The circuit breaker is also pretty high up, so even if you could use a stepladder, you wouldn't reach it. Yeah, I totally agree. That's why it's so mysterious. Well, during the blackout, I was panicking so bad I forgot about that, but you're right. Even with a stepladder, there's no way you'd be able to reach that circuit breaker. Which means someone must have reset the breaker after the blackout, too. I did it! Gua, it's here! You idiots had no idea what to do about the blackout, so I was the one who reset the circuit breaker. By the way, I'm not the one who tripped the breaker. The killer's the one who did that, of course. But, but, but how did someone as small as you reset the breaker? Hey, um... Well, firstly, my eyes work real good at night, so I have no trouble seeing in the dark. And if you want to know how I reach the circuit breaker, my body stretches. You know, I'm very elastic. Liar. I'm serious. Do you want to see? I want to see. I want to see a vision of Monokuma with all his body all stretched out. It's gross. It's grotesque. Oh, my God. No, no, thanks. I'm just imagining it makes me want to puke. Oh, really? Such a shame. Still, don't you think Monokuma's a nice guy in a popularity contest? He'd take first place. What the hell? So he's the one who reset the breaker? Well, in that case, I'm convinced there's no way we'd be able to reach that. If that's the case, then... How did the killer trip the circuit breaker? If they didn't trip it, or set it to be tripped. <laughs> I can already tell you doubt me, correct? Huh? However, does it not surprise me? It does not surprise me. An unexpected blackout occurred during the time that Biakia was killed. The circuit breaker is in the office. Naturally, I look suspicious since I was supposed to be here. Wait. Supposed? To be here. Does that mean... So I was right. You weren't in the office. But why? Weren't you supposed to be on the guard? Of, weren't you supposed to guard the circuit breaker in the Dura Lumen case with all the weapons in it? So where'd you run off to on your own? Well, well that is... Uh... Uh... Pego suddenly dropped to a knee and started groaning on the spot. Hey, what happened? No, I, I'm just not feeling too well. I, I apologize, but, but, but excuse me. What the heck? Excuse me, what is that? Hey. Pekko appears... It appears the bathroom inside this old building is currently occupied, so... 
I recommend enter either the hotel lobby, lobby or your cottage. Huh? It seems like it'll be a tough path. A cold sweat dripping from her forehead. Pekka wobbled to the office. What happened to her? Hmm. It's kind of hard for me to say it for myself, but I feel bad enough for Pekka as it is. Hmm. What does that mean? I mean, it's cool she didn't, like, run away or something. Because if she ran away, she's obviously the killer. It, I'm almost positive. Hmm. Is that really what it is? No, I don't think she's the killer. We're going to go back to the Duralumin case, because that's, I think, the only thing I haven't touched in this room yet. The, this Duralumin case. It should contain all the dangerous items that Byakuya collected. Maybe we should check inside, just to be safe. But it's locked. Byakuya had the key to this particular Duralumin case with him. Check it out. I brought it with me, so there's no need to worry. Hey, is it okay to take the key out without permission? It's forbidden to tamper with the crime scene. But if we did it, if we don't, we can't check inside this case, right? So I should open it. This guy, he doesn't feel any remorse. See, it's open. Forks and kitchen knives, iron skewers, various tools and cram are crammed inside. But it's not possible that the killer could take anything from here because they didn't have the key to this case. It was inside, the, because the key in the, to this case was inside the case Byakuya had with him. I guess you're right about that. Now then, now then I guess we're done the, with the office, don't you think? Wish you could going now. They're still outside? I don't think so, but... N There's no way I could leave this building. I should keep looking around. Okay. The toilet unoccupied now? Did she figure it out? No! I don't want every time I talk to her to be infiltrated with that freaking scene. And this is about everyone standing position before the black hole. I'm not done yet, geez. Don't rush me. Well, for now, can I show you the photo? Well, can you show me the photos one more time? Nagido is closest to the air conditioner. Yeah, and just as Ma oh wait, yeah, and as just as Mahiro said, where Byakuya is standing before the blackout is really far away from the table that where his body was found. You've seen this, you've just you've seen this, so get on with it already. You better conduct a thorough investigation. I, I know. There, oh, the kitchen. Terra Terra would be in the kitchen, wherever that is. I was like, "There's a room I've missed." Yeah, there is the kitchen. Hey, were you in the kitchen during the blackout, Terra Terra room? That blackout totally started me. At first I thought it was in the kitchen, but when I finally managed to get out of the kitchen, the hallway was pitch black too. And then I heard everybody's voices, so fumble I fumbled along the wall and tried to feel my way down the dining hall. But that place was pitch black too, so it was like pitch black everywhere. Couldn't you have been used to the kitchen stove as couldn't you use the kitchen stove as a light? No, 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 no. Ah, that's impossible. The this gas stove needs electricity to work, so it would be directly affected by the blackout. I see. Then I guess it's not possible. Since you work with fire in the kitchen, I figured you'd be able to use a light source or something, but I guess that's not easy. 
Terra Terra's account. But there, what, what about this light source? Oh, that's just dishes. Isn't it amazing? The meat's so big. Even I was shocked. It's a dish fit for a tropical island. I would never be able to get meat like this in uh, Ayo, or Oyama or Azabu. I'd never be able to get meat like this in my hometown, much less in Ayoma or Azabu. I get it. You don't have to repeat yourself. But it's so big. Where'd you get it? I asked Nekamaru. Apparently, I asked Nekamaru. Apparently, he killed a cow at the ranch with his bare hands and brought it over. I also said that in Nekamaru's voice because I just randomly Nekamaru came to mind. His bare hands? That's a little hard to believe, but it does seem doesn't seem completely impossible either. Those hands of his, they look like they specialize in punching things. I wouldn't want to get punched by those hands. Seriously, Nekamaru was so wild. He's totally right at the home in a country setting. So jealous. That's why I went to the barn. My hometown is near Aoyama and Azabu. So wild country things like that, they slip my mind a lot, you know? Well, I guess the meat has gone to waste since there's off something awful happened when right when this party started. The only ones who ate any food were Akane and Peko, who took some of the portions for herself. Don't say that. After I worked so hard to cook the world's most refined party dishes, only two people actually tasted them? Well, it's not like I actually believed it, but there's really a killer out there. Ugh, I'd probably never be able to forgive the killer. He's scary when he's mad. Party dishes have been added to the truthful section of your handbook. Uh, the inventory list maybe might have something? Oh! He said, Byakia did say that there was one missing item in the dangerous item list. And we're like, it's fine. It's probably, oh my god. It wasn't actually Teru Teru. Because he's the only one that would have access to that knife. Byakia must have confiscated all the dangerous items in the kitchen's equipment list. Well, if I'm reading this list, it looks like the knife next to Byakia's body didn't come from the kitchen. It appears to have been brought from the outside. From outside? Then how did the killer get past the Byakia's body checklist? Strange, isn't it? I mean, he didn't even go... He didn't go even... Go... He didn't even go easy on the girls when performing the pat-downs. If that's the case, they probably brought the knife in advance and hid it somewhere. Still, it's surprising how much equipment is in this kitchen that kitchen has. There are iron plates for barbecuing, even a portable stove for cooking hot pots. But all of this stuff doesn't pertain to the murder, so I guess it doesn't really matter. I agree. Kitchen equipment list has been added to the, the truth bullet section of the notebook. Hmm. I guess I'm pretty I'm pretty I'm pretty much finished investigating the kitchen for now. Nagito, let's get going. Yeah, sure thing. Okay, looks like we're pretty much finished looking around the old building. So how about we check out Byakia's cottage? Byakia's cottage? Yep. There might be clues there, so I thought it would be good to check it out just in case. But I was scared I might encounter some danger if I went there by myself. Well, I don't really mind going there together, but... Aren't you worried about the possibility that I might be in danger? Or I might be that danger? You mean, am I worried that you're going to be the killer? <laughs> to be honest, I don't think you're the killer. In fact, I can't even imagine it. It's like... I've, instead of living with doubt in others, I'd much it'd be much better to die believing in others. Don't talk like that. We're doing this so we can live, you know. As I thought, you, you, you sure are strong. You are definitely the chosen one. Chosen by Hope's Peak Academy. Alright, All right, then let's get back to the Biakia's Cottage. Yeah. I don't even know why, but every time we talk, I don't really know what I'm, how I'm supposed to react. Yeah, because this man's the most wishy-washy person in the universe, I swear. Whoa. to get under the floor, but I'll change our understanding of the murder. I see. So I thought it was important.
Under the floor, huh? I never considered thinking it like that. What do you mean? Come on, think about it. The carpet laid I lay didn't reach the table where I found Byakuya's dead body, right? And the dining hall floor had a huge gap between the floorboards. Then it is possible the killer kill that that the killer killed Byakuya by stabbing him beneath the floor. Yep. That's what I thought. So I'm trying to see if we can get under there from the or underneath from there. Well, hmm. hmm. I guess it's not possible to get under the floor from the outside. The building is surrounded by firm fences, so there's no way to sneak under the floor from there. Even so, I couldn't find a way to get under the floor from the inside of the building either. Do you think there's possibly there's a hidden hole somewhere? No, that's not possible. Are you sure? At any rate, it seems you can't get under the floor from the outside of the building. That's a relief. Relief why? Because if you get... Because... If you could get under the floor from the outside, there'd be a one logical suspect. The only person who didn't come to the party and also doesn't have an alibi. Oh, right! Fuyuhiko! I suspected him, too. That's why I was checking to see if it was possible to go under the floor from the outside. Speaking of which, not long after I began guarding the entrance, Fuyuhiko came here. Huh? He did? Huh? What happened, Fuyuhiko? Oh, oh, hey. What are you doing here, all alone in a place like this? Yep. I'm standing guard, so Monokuma doesn't come inside. Huh. Hmm, how diligent of you. Hey, hey. You're not coming to the party? What are you saying? Hell no. Not even if you paid me. Parties are stupid, and they make me want to puke. You want to come to the party, right? Isn't that why you came here? Of course not! I was going for a walk. What? What do I ha have to report to you every time I want to go for a frickin' walk? That's wrong. No, it's not like that, but... Hmm. Then leave me alone. Hmm. And then he just left. So that happened. But why did he come here? Hmm? He probably wanted to be wants to be part of the group, but he can't be honest about it. He believes he's different from everyone else, and that's why he's uh, what he's always done. L he's like the main character of an RPG. Have you played those before? Huh? When did we start talking about video games? Chiaki's account. Even though we did not, don't really know what he's thinking about, I don't think we have any reason to doubt him. That's a relief. I'm glad. You keep saying you're glad, but we have no idea who the killer is. Well, I guess we should stick to the plan and head over to Byakuya's cottage. As long as the possible probability is greater than zero, that will suffice. I, I will not absurdly reclaim the hellhound earring with my own... I will most assuredly reclaim the hellhound earring with my own two hands. It seems that he has no intention of investigating. Nope. We'll check the cottage and probably end the episode there. That sounds like a great spot to end it, because I feel like it'll be 10 minutes. Oh, hi! I didn't expect him to be here. I almost want to talk to him. Like, I want to talk to him. And that might be something we have to do. Oh, there we go. Look at that. His cottage is right here. Um, it's locked. I guess we need to ask him for help. And so, Nagito took a deep breath. Hey, hey Monokuma! Did you call me? Yay! Did you call me? Nagito, when did you train Monokuma? Hey, Monokuma, I was wondering if I could do you, if you could do us a favor. There's something we want to investigate. Hey, who are you talking to? That's just my after image. <laughs> when I get serious, my after image is unleashed. I can even play a soccer for my, by myself as long as I have this cloning technique. I thought it'd be kind of boring to play alone. I don't have time for this. Just hurry up and open Byakuya's cottage already. Well, this is for a class trial. It's something we really need. Hmm? For the class trial? Hmm. If it's for the class trial, then there's no way I can refuse. Now then, there's only one spell that can open these doors. 
clad. See, I've unlocked the door, so now you can investigate to your heart's content. Why did it op Why does it open with a magic spell? It's probably powered by electricity. At any rate, that performance was a waste of time. I see. I guess we should go inside then? Right. Yeah, I guess you're right. All of his books. We stand. Envelope. There's an envelope on the table. It's a letter someone sent to Biakia. That's weird. There's no sender. That looks pretty suspicious. Hajime, you should check what's inside. Yeah, you're right. Let's see. The first kill will happen tonight. Someone will definitely kill someone. Be wow. This is... It's a crime warning. No, it says, be careful. It's probably a threatening letter. Regardless, who would have sent something like this? Maybe. This is why Byakuya suddenly decided to throw a party. Huh? The first kill will happen tonight. Because someone made this threat to Byakuya. He gathered someone in one, everyone in one area and was extremely cautious about all the dangerous items. He was trying to create a scenario in which everyone could monitor each other. He thought if he did that, nobody would be able to kill anyone. So he believed this crazy letter. He couldn't ignore the possibility of this happening, even if it was the worst case scenario. Remember what Byakuya kept saying, how he wouldn't let anyone become a victim. He couldn't overlook that slim possibility. He couldn't overlook that slim possibility just to keep his promise. Then why did he keep it a secret? If he had just, t t if he just told us, he probably couldn't. He probably thought that it was the worst case scenario. What do you mean? If everyone knew what was in that letter, whether or not it was a lie, everyone would have likely begun to doubt each other again, and at that point there would be no turning back. So Byakuya tried to do, so Byakuya tried to do something about this by himself without telling anyone. Yep. His strong sense of responsibility—it's the only explanation I could have think of. Anyway, whoever said this is a letter to Byakuya also killed him. Is this what you're saying? No, it could be a prank, but it might have nothing to do with Byakuya's death at all. Hmm. What was that? Became suddenly He suddenly became really quiet. I see he doesn't want to believe one of us could be the killer. But still, we've come all this way, and it's the only thing I can think of. The person who wrote this letter murdered Byakuya. And if that's the case, that person completely predicted how Byakuya would react once he received it, right? They planned to manipulate Byakuya and killed him right before our eyes in that old building. Damn it, who the hell would do that? Murder threat has been added to the truth bullet section. Hajime, there's probably no, not much time left for the class, tri class trial starts. Probably. Ah, which reminds me. You asked Mahiro for a favor earlier, right? Yeah, I wanted her to find out where everybody was before the blackout. She's probably finished by now. You're coming with me, right? Sorry, that's all you. Huh? I need some time alone. I'd like to collect, or time to collect my thoughts. I see. I understand. Also, if you're going to end up back in that old building, you should hear what Mikan has to say as well. I think the results of her autopsy should be ready now. See you later. He was pretty pale. I wonder if he's okay. But now's not the time to be worried about Nagido. There is, isn't much time left. I better hurry into the old building. Well, I guess that's a good place to leave it off. Because I think we're going to get the two things. I wanted to say I, fin I said I wanted to finish the investigation. But we now we know where we're finishing this investigation. And it's on the legs of the autopsy and of the um, photo report. So thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.